Hi, and welcome back to a new video by yours truly, Max. Today, I will be analyzing the English alphabet and making it infinitely better than it was um, using logic. Uh, this is not my personal video idea. Uh, I got this idea from Oat Jenkins, who revised the English alphabet twice already. I'll link his videos down in the description. Um, yeah. Let's get started, I guess. So here we have the English alphabet. There is, I think, 26 letters, right? But there's actually more than 26 if we count the uppercase and lowercase, which I think we need to get rid of. Uh, first off, I'm just going to get rid of every single lowercase letter because we don't, we don't need lowercases in, in our life. You know, it's just a waste of memorization. There you go. We don't have any lowercase letters anymore, which I think simplifies the alphabet by so much. Anyways, um, let's start with the letter A. I feel like the letter A is like, it, it's okay. There's nothing wrong about it. Same with B. There's nothing bad about B. So I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna leave these two like that. C though, I despise C. If you can't tell. Uh, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna get rid of it. But joke's on you. I'm not actually going to get rid of it. You know the CH sound? Ch? You can't really write that without a C. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to keep C, but it's going to be pronounced like Ch. So then you don't have to write CH, you just write C, you know? So it the alphabet so much better. When it comes to words that use the letter C like a K or a S sound, just replace it with a K or an S. Like closet would now be closet. Um, uh, let's go into D. I'm gonna add, give D these two little things. I feel like that'll, like, distinguish it so much more from other letters. You know, when I'm, whenever I'm writing, I feel like whenever I write the letter O, it can look really close to a D, and vice versa. So I'm just gonna, like, distinguish D like that. Then we come to E. E is actually gonna be pronounced like E, eh, always. There's no other way to pronounce it. So whenever you have, like, an E eh sound in your word, you're just gonna write E. F, 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 F is a respectable letter. In my alphabet, G is always going to make the gut sound. So, for example, this infamous word is always going to be pronounced GIF, never JIF. Giraffe will now be spelled with a J. There you go, that's how you spell giraffe from now on. Anyways, moving on to H. H is okay, I guess. Yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep it. Uh, I, I hate, okay, I absolutely hate it when I is written like this because it's such a pain to write. Therefore, from now on, I is just going to be a straight down line. Let's go with J. J is a nice letter. Yeah, I don't care. You can either write it with the top or without the top. That's fine. K, also a nice letter. What can I say? L. Now that we don't have to write lowercase L as just a stick, we don't have to worry about I and L getting mixed together. So I think that works. M, the absolute best letter. Actually, with M, we're going to put it at the beginning of the alphabet just because it's such a nice letter. And it's okay. Oh, okay, so with O, I do have a few annoying things. Look at these two characters of the alphabet. One of them is a zero. One of them is a letter O. Which one's which? I don't know. So, I'm gonna do this to the O. I'm gonna make it wide. That's what the new O will look like. Let me, let me add it to the alphabet real quick. So O must be more wide than it is tall. So then you don't get it confused with zero. Anyways, uh, P, P, P is okay. I feel like if we add another thing right there. Yeah, that's what P looks like now. Um, Q, we're also just going to get rid of Q because I don't, I don't, I don't like Q. Just like, just write it with a KW. There you go. R, R is okay. We can keep it. S, we will keep S, but we're going to get rid of SH. Now you may ask me, how do you write the sh sound, the sh sound? Well, we're going to just make up a new letter. We'll call it hairbrush. There you go. If you want to write sh, you just write hairbrush. Anyways, we got s. Then we got t. I, I don't have any quirks with t. The u. In my alphabet, u makes only the oo sound. Instead of putting two o's, like soup, it's now going to be spelt soup, like that. 
Oh, sorry, the P is going to be spelled like that. There you go. So that's how you write soup in my new alphabet. W, I don't like W, so I'm just going to get rid of it. I think V is just enough. Whenever you have a word that needs a W, just put a V instead. So that means Q will actually use spelled KV. Anyways, uh, we got X. On one hand, there's there's a lot of like people saying you can get rid of X and it'll be just fine. Just replace with a K and S, but no. Uh, due to the fact that my name has the letter X in it, uh, I'm keeping X. Uh, the Y sound, not the Y, the, the letter Y, that's what I meant to say. Uh, we, we can keep it, but like, it's on thin ice. Uh, when it comes to the Z, we're going to get rid of the traditional Z. And instead, we're going to replace it with the cool Z. Now, you, know, uh, now you, you might be saying what I'm thinking, Max, that's the cool S that you're drawing. But, but no, um, joke's on you. This is actually the new Z. There, there you go. This is, this is my rendition of the alphabet. Uh, by the way, we're not actually going to have KV in this alphabet because it's not a letter. It's just, um, anyways. So this is how you're going to sing the new alphabet. M, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, O, P, R, Hairbrush S T U V X Y backwards S. Um, yeah, that's my alphabet. Please like and subscribe for more analyzations of alphabets. Bye.